So I thought I'd show you just a mini brief haul for my gardening project and uh, we're going to turn one of the projects and um, some of these things into a funny-ish wedding present full of cabbages but I won't bore you with that. So I've bought three of these plant boxes and I can't remember how many centimetres they are. I think they're about 70 and these were 1.99 each. I thought they were a real bargain actually and uh, they've got um, some dints at the bottom, maybe you could pierce some holes in those. So I've got three of those, one ninety nine each. You can get them in other colours. I bought this for 99 pence, it's actually a trio planter and I'm going to be putting my herbs in there, um, some of my better ones anyway. So I've got some basil, parsley, I've got quite a big selection so I may end up going back for, for some more of these. But I really want to keep my um, herbs really tidy this year because a couple of years ago they were just so overgrown in the garden and the dog thought he could just use it as a bit of a tool just to rest and just do his business on it and it wasn't good. And so far all of these things are actually from B&M and uh, you can get these in other colours. Then we bought some kids garden tool set. This is part of the um, wedding present because it's for a family and um, so I don't know if they are keen gardeners and that's to go with the cabbage basket we're planting. So that was one ninety nine, all from B&M and some kiddies garden gloves that were 79p or you could get three for two pounds but um, we couldn't get red ones to match but I thought those were quite cute. Then for me this is really important we've got some plant food all for the, um, the vegetables that I'm growing so I've got courgette, spinach, cabbages over there, potatoes in the far distance, cabbages again and absolutely loads of herbs and, and more um, greenhousey type things in there. All food and that was £2.75 from B&M. And something I was totally desperate for is 70 litres of compost for me and the wedding project. And that was 3 99 or you can get it for three for £10. So I'll carry on with the garden update. Um, we've been away for well over a week, but we've been back once in between. And uh, I've actually planted most of my cabbages. And so they've been surviving pretty well for, um, for the, a long weekend. I don't know if it's rained but I know it's been hot down um, in the south of England but these are rows of cabbages. These are the weaker ones when you compare um, this. This is my main raised bedding box that I created and I put the strongest ones in here. I've tried to create them as tidy rows as I could so row, row, row. I know they're probably really close together. I've never done this before but if they're if they're starting to look a little bit tight, I'll have to um, spread them out a bit. But already I have a slug issue. So tomorrow I'll be buying a few more gardening bits. I really need some slug pellets. And you can see a bit of a trail there, slug trail. But these were my best ones and then they get smaller as they go along. And the main thing I'm really proud of at the minute is just how fierce my potato plants are growing. And these were just potatoes from a supermarket that I just sprouted and turned to seed. I'm really impressed. They've got absolutely loads of leaves off these and every one has come up. So I've got eight there in total. This isn't the first time I've grown potatoes but it is the first time I've grown them straight from uh, supermarket ones. So I'll have to keep my vigilant eye on these all the time because Apparently seed potatoes, proper seed potatoes, are treated so the the less likely prone to get diseases which these um, may very well catch something and obviously I really don't want that to happen. I've worked really hard with this um, but I'm going to have to try and get some barriers in the week as well because again this area my dog thinks is a toilet. And my, potato, uh, and my apple tree there isn't really doing anything at all. But my apple tree right next to the greenhouse is absolutely loving this spot. It's been flowering, it's got more leaves on that than I expected. And it's just a dessert apple spartan tree. And I can't wait to do apple crumbles and things. That was actually 3 99 from uh, Aldi's. And then we're in the greenhouse. There's been quite a bit of movement in here as well. These are all the leftover cabbages that couldn't uh, go in the garden so I'm going to turn these into the wedding present. I've got a lot there and some are looking peaky so they'll have to go in the bin. 
This was just basic seeds from actual bell peppers. So they're store peppers. They're doing really well. Um, that's peppers from a packet. That's not doing as well. We've got a pepper from a packet of seeds. I'm just been recycling these, so ignore the price. But that's really strong. That actually looks like a courgette. Cab leftover cabbages. Parsley, basil, dill, chives. Nothing else is growing there. Spinach, cucumber. Peppers from a seed. Doesn't look as good as the store one. More butter. Oh my gosh, these were not here when I left. There's more butternut squashes. I don't know where I'm going to plant them, but I'll find a place. Uh, spinaches again. Chives. They look ready to eat soon. Parsnips. Leeks. Parsnips again. One broccoli. No, two broccolis. And one cauliflower. Loads of aubergines. And some chilli. But what I'm really, really, really excited about more than anything else now is I've actually managed to grow my first ever apple trees, plural. When I left, there was only one, and uh, apparently it's slim pickings. It's just a, such a slim chance that these would grow, and I planted absolutely loads of apple seeds, and I've got two, and they're just there in that little pot there and there. So I'm so chuffed with that. Then I don't know if you remember me saying that I, uh, well, when I filmed my April favourites a couple of weeks ago, I had a sorry tomato plant behind the camera. And look what's happened just because I brought them into the house. I fed them. This was actually exposed. And uh, I put cling film on these two because nothing was coming up on these at all. In fact, I had one seedling two seedlings and one had died so I thought this is never going to happen so I put them on the windowsill in the kitchen we're in the conservatory now and um, I've had to take the cling film off these two and they've really come up so I'm so pleased and I feel like I can probably put them in the greenhouse again because they weren't doing anything in there so it's been just over six weeks maybe seven weeks since I actually planted a load of seedlings um, and just well found, just planted every seed I could find and we're now at the front of my house, we're on a main road and uh, we've been here a year and there's a council grass verge that uh, we can't really do anything with but the front was really, it was just so boring and every house on this street has gorgeous flowers and I just bought two boxes from Aldi and I put uh, some rake and shake seeds in and there's no flowers yet but it really has grown an awful lot the only downside with shake and rake is I don't know what is a weed and what isn't. So once everything's flowered, then I'll start de-weeding. So there you go. It's really leafy, that's all I can say. But these look like weeds. I'm pretty sure they are, but I don't touch them.